All right, all right, all right. What the hell is going on, everybody? And welcome back. For those of you who didn't see yesterday's video, we went on a nine game win streak on ladder, and then this happened. This game may have been the silliest, stupidest, craziest game that I've played in a while. It was kind of fantastic, but it was also something where there was just a lot of excitement building in me. For those who didn't see the previous video, I on the ladder with a bit more focus on Zerg rather than playing random with some really simple openings that I was trying to repeat over and over again to be nice and consistent. And it started to net some really good results. But then the nerves come in. That's when you start to worry. That's when you start to think to yourself and go, oh me, oh my, I'm, I'm doing really well. I'm winning all my games. Am I, oh God, am I going to, am I going to start losing? Uh, you know, I've got that nine wins, man, I want the 10 wins. There's just something about hitting a 10 win streak. I haven't hit that in a while. And I was like, oh, we've got to, got to get on that. So I'm just going to commentate here over the kind of recording from my stream. I'm probably going to accidentally talk over past pig here myself a little bit. Sorry for me, mouse cursor. Drones distributed pretty evenly As I just talk places. about kind of distributing drones so and all this sort of stuff. To its own line, you're naturally rallying the workers to where they're needed. I'm going to turn myself up just a little bit. Workers on your third base and then having to send them back to your main and natural. So okay, so I'm just answering questions about drone saturation in the chat. That. But what's really interesting here is is you get to 10 wins and you start freaking out. Definitely you kind of get or nine Elden wins. Elden it's within sight and you're like, oh, can that. I do it? Can I do this? And and that's when. Not only you do you start to freak is, out, you go, okay, what do I, I need to do? Focus on my systems. Just play the game. Like stay in the moment. Don't worry about the results person. of the game. Just play what a good game. Problem, we're playing on Radhu Set Station, the weirdest map well, I think in last played, season's right. map pool. And this was played right at the end of the season. I mean, this is a, a massive map. It's it, huge. You, Every game plays either greedier or more all-in than a normal map, obviously, because it's so hard to kill the opponent. People play super greedy. Because of that, people do these super committed all-ins. Yeah, so scouting like is so it. important. Now, I'm playing against Golden, but I'm it's not the Golden in. streamer. Someone yeah, called Golden, who's about, I think, a 5.1, 5.2k uh, Terran player. Side, yeah. And I thought it was real Golden during this match. So keep that in mind. I thought it was him off-racing. I didn't realize that he'd said he's retiring from streaming and he's not going to be streaming any more StarCraft, which is real sad news because Golden is a, a big kind of monster within the scene. It was always a great... Entertainer and content creator, the king of the 4040 meme, when asked about his chances at a tournament back in the early days of StarCraft 2, he said, Oh, about 4040. Uh, obviously, being a, a Korean native and English being a second language, he meant 50 50. But uh, it was still uh, a good, it gave us all a good chuckle for a few years safe. there and was something people like to repeat. They're like, Oh, about 40 40. I think my player will win, you know? I think this match is about 40 40. All right, so we've seen a nice early command center. I saw a few Marines there. I think I just said 3cc. I don't know how I know that's 3cc, but I think just because there's a few Marines in a bunker, I'm like, look, he's playing cool so safe. Guys. It's probably three command center. It looks like he's just turtling up. And I'm immediately thinking, drones, drones, drones. drones Let's be as greedy as I possibly right can. That's what I'm focusing on. We'll get more queens started soon. So I've been focusing on drones, but of course, once you get past it, two base mineral oh, saturation, you do need to build queens to spread creep three racks, so I've got to keep, that to keep you safe. And as I said there, yeah, I got to go link speed just in I case it is three racks. You never that. know. Sometimes we will build a bunker for safety, assuming that it's like a super greedy build just because you see one bunker. That's what I would call a hard read. Connect the bases. Yep. We're going to connect our bases with creep. So a hard read is one where you basically see one small bit of information. And you extrapolate a ton of information from that based off of patterns that you usually see. The thing with a hard read is you never know you for sure that's the that. case. If, you could, if you're right, it feels like you're a genius. You're like, you're oh, yes, I knew exactly what build he was doing off that one piece of information. But in reality, they could just be building a bunker and doing some sort of two base all in. You don't actually know for sure. So that's why I'm like, yeah, we'll still make link speed. I don't want to be completely 100% with my pants down if it does turn out to be some aggression. More queens on the way. You can see we're droning that third. I should be mining the minerals out on the in-base uh, just to expand to that as a fourth as well. But uh, looks like I'm a little bit nervous in this moment. Maybe not nervous, maybe just distracted, I guess one should say. Oh, a bit of context, by the way, guys. I have a Magic the Gathering launch event um, <laughs> for the, starting. the Fallout set right. that's happening. And I literally was like, just before this game started, I was like, you know what? Okay, guys, I have time for just one more game. Uh, but, you know, uh, I don't have to leave for probably half an hour, so it should be okay. Squeeze a game in and then head out. 
Little did I realize I would get Radu sat in a TVZ, a map which is famously hard for either players to finish the other one off. Now, that's really good. The Overlord speed gives me full scouting. We see Marines, we see an Engineering Bay. So we know it's a bio play. Looks like he's just turtling. Looks like he's just turtling. No, no, there is, if there was a lot of barracks, there might be a chance of aggression, but I don't see that at all. Now, notice we mined those minerals out just so we can get the creep tumor spreading across the gap a bit easier on the right side. My creep on the left hasn't been that nonstop, but I'm just like, okay, let's get four bases full of workers. Let's play proper Radhu set greed because he's going to be greedier than normal. I better be greedier than normal as well. One one upgrades are going to start as well as a lair. Oh, didn't quite have the gas for carapace. So you're going to see me start that in a moment. There we go. Adding the hatchery down, the macro hatch. So we're already up on five hatcheries before the six minute mark. My three bases are full of workers and I'm rallying to the fourth. I wouldn't mind taking a fifth right. base right now as well. Switch out. Did you see turret? Is there a six minute missile greedy. turret finished? Okay, that means this guy's built turrets before five minutes 30, which is insanely fast. So my opponent is just like, I don't want to die. They're, they're not playing a super like uh, efficient style. They're just like, not. we're just playing super defensive, zero pressure this entire game, which is already bizarre. And I got to say, I feel confident because a Zerg that's left alone like this should be able to just roll over the opponent. Now, there is a famous saying that I grew up with. It's uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda. So uh, we're gonna uh, gonna find out exactly how well I can do from there. He scans me, trying to find out my tech. I think I want to go. Do I want to go mutas? No, fast infestation. Okay, so I'm already thinking Maybe about speed. hive. Oh, oh mutas. no, we are gonna go a few mutas Maybe as well. Okay, even. hive and mutas. Maybe corrupt, as I've said. Okay, so I'm already thinking a few steps ahead. I'm thinking about late game compositions right now, as my fourth base gets to a pretty high work account. 88 workers right now. Not bad. Fifth base is on the way on the left. The creep is spreading out there. I'm trying to break down those rocks on his back door because I always feel having another way into he's your opponent's like base is huge. Could get me. The fact that he's turtling is pretty dangerous for me. Oh my god. Okay. Should have seen that coming, right, guys? Oh gosh. Should have ran those drones a bit quicker as well. Quickly throw down three spores. Queen's trying to pull back. I don't have a transfuse nearby, unfortunately. Okay, now comes down a queen with transfuse. Quick, quick, quick. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my god, I just lost two queens without transfusing. I am so caught off guard by this. Oh, this is not a good response at all, guys. Uh, I do transfuse a drone, so I keep one extra drone alive. But I still lose a lot. Luckily, the battle cruiser does take a lot of damage. But we transfuse it. That base is wide open on the low ground. If he goes straight into that mineral line, we're going to have to run those drones away much quicker. So I'm keeping an eye on it. But it looks like... Oh, no, no, it's flagging. Is it? Actually, no, sorry. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, I should have run those drones away ahead of time. Why wait? You know he's going to run down there. I just built 20 workers, though. You could see me just build 20 workers and rally them to the fifth. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm taking damage here in a game where there's been no pressure up until the first battle cruiser at like seven minutes. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thrown off by how late that is. I'm also going to send drones across to mine open his back door so that I have an, an, an attack path there as well. Now, we do want to go for the hive in the near future. Did I just build a second spire, guys? I, I think I forgot I already have one. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe that was for upgrades. Double spy for upgrades is never a bad idea. Especially if you're in a super economy game with like 10 gas already. It's probably more important just to get numbers in there early though. Finding damage on your opponent and then it's focusing on, on double spire upgrades is usually the right order. Bit of a disruption in my build order, I'm saying. And I'm going to guard the spire with those spores just so it can't be sniped if he comes in with more battle cruisers. And at this point, I'm like, man, is this bio or mech, right? He's got nice, bunkers with building armor out front his fourth base. Oh my god, this is like a proper Platinum League game, man. Guys, this is a proper Platinum League game being played at GM. And you know what tilts GM players, guys? When they play against Platinum League strategies. Because because immediately, look at my face. The angry elitism is setting in. I'm going, this guy's playing like an idiot. Not even good way of playing. <laughs> and yet, it's, it's 10 minutes and I'm not maxed out. I mean, I can max out now if I spend my money, to be fair. I'm going to start taking forward bases so I can try to steal his uh, resources. And we're also going to mine those mineral patches open. Luckily, he's not looking for it. This is actually really lucky for me. We're going to start plus one armor. We've already got plus one air attack on the way. Ultra Cavern goes down. And it looks like I just built a ton of Zerglings to go with my 14 Mutalisks, which so far have been incredibly passive. And oh, he's going to come out. Okay, I can't really fight three BCs with just 14 Mutalisks. Going to need some Corruptors as well. Oh, we're going to go for the counterattack. That's one way of doing it. Force the Battlecruisers home. 
About time I got these bad boys in there. Dude, that's a lot of SCVs. That's a lot of SCVs going down. Oof. All right, so we're going we're gonna to fly by here, go back into the base. Do we go deeper? Oh, looks like I do. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a dangerous move. If he's got a lot of Marines or, or, or Vikings or something pairing up with this, this could be a problem. Ooh, we're killing a lot of guys, though. And at this point, I'm like, dude, it's just one turret. Just kill it. Or at least kill all the repairing SCVs, even if we don't get it. These are great trades for me right now. Remember, I've got the whole map, so I'm feeling pretty good about this scenario. Oh, just killing all these building guys. And it actually feels like it is a mech build, right? So I was thinking I was playing against a bio transition, but it is indeed proper mech. Even though there's not much mech. The back door! The back door! Link's flood in from two signs! Oh, digging for that 10 win streak. You could see my tongue just slither through my mouth. Creepy Jabba the Hutt style there when he's pulling on, on Princess Leia's chain like a psycho. Uh, apparently that's how I feel when I'm running Lings into three mineral lines at once of a Terran. Getting massive damage right now. But remember, he's already up on four, four maybe five, six command centers. And, uh, oh, I don't have Burrow. I would love to Burrow in here right now. Lings are doing good damage, though. Going to try and attack that armory in the back. Battlecruisers are going up there as well. The building armor is really helping him out. It's kind of hilarious just how much the building armor is helping. Muters and Corruptors happy to trade on just about anything right now. I am a rich boy, gang. Now notice, I'm going to try and mine out that forward base. So I transferred 17 workers. Looks like this base attempt did get denied. So we're going to try and mine that bottom right corner. The more I mine from his side, the better. The scary one, which I, I think I'd like to mine. And I always try so, for it, but it never I'm works. I'm greedy, but I've also got to go trade on him now. I'm being very greedy, but I also have to trade. Long. Yeah, you're not wrong. And he will get ahead. Mutiling Bane ain't a long-term comp. Oh, this is a good fight. Those Marines don't have upgrades, guys. Those Marines do not have upgrades. Oh, the Corruptors, uh, the Muters, sorry. No match for the uh, Battlecruisers, though. Not, not in those numbers. Got to get a few more Corruptors in the mix. My air upgrades are going really well, though. I think part of the reason I went so much uh, double spire is because I after the Battlecruiser, I was like, well, look, he's going... He's going to be going double uh, air upgrades at some point. So I've got, to, I've got to deal with this. Ling Ultra is going to try to run in. We're going to try and fight here. Muta's not doing that great. Ugh. He's going to be teleporting home his BC. So we're going to pull out of that. Ultra's trying to come in. He's got three tanks. I don't think this is a good fight, Pig. No! Oh, God, I'm going in too deep. Oh, no! Oh, no! The Pailing's got left behind. Oh, that's unfortunate. My Muta's are getting wrecked right now, waiting for the Corruptors. I should have just pulled back. Those, those Battlecruisers weren't hitting anything. But I'm panicking a bit right now. This game is so far outside of my realm of experience. I'm like, what is this game, man? At least we do get one battlecruiser where he screwed up on the teleport home. Okay, I'm going to try and roll Banelings in on that left side into his uh, pocket base. We're also trying to just make sure we transfer as many of these workers as we can. Uh, no! He had a corner base this entire time! I totally forgot! Oh my god, I am gutted seeing that, guys. Because I've been thinking, well, at least I'm I, he's on four base this whole time. Three base, four base. He's had a fifth hidden in the corner this entire time. And he's already mined out all the minerals. You know how he did that so fast? He dropped all of his mules in that corner. Cheeky bugger. Dude, this gives him such an advantage. I can still take the gas and a bit of minerals there, but he's already stake, taken a, an entire he corner of the bases. That's, early, he knows he's gonna be that's very, very clever. Yeah, yeah, that's one way of saying it. Good attitude, to be fair, from me. I thought I'd be raging. Apparently, I'm uh, pretty chill after winning nine games in a row, but I can already see that tenth one slipping away. I mean, I've got this forward base, though. I do have this forward base. Building some spores and spines, because they don't cost any supply. Going to try and roll in the front. If I can blow up this planetary, that'd be great. Going to use the ultras to tank, guys. We're going to try and go for it. Nudas are going to fly in the back door at the same time. And, oh god, that's a big army. I don't know if we're going to really get much there. Banelings coming in from both sides. The Banelings on the left get good hits on the Helldats. Oh, but we don't get the planetary. Oh, Damn it. oh, that is bloody awful. Just being one Baneling short of killing the planetary. That is very costly for me. He's going to teleport. I can I can kill these guys. We're going to fight. All right, we're going to fight. He's just used his teleport. I'm happy to lose some guys to kill some battle cruisers. Happy to fight into those turrets, but... Probably don't want to chase the third one. That's too many turrets. Too many turrets. We get two battlecruisers there. Remember, each battlecruiser costs as much as uh, yeah, like four mutalisks. Three. three and a half, basically. 400 minerals, 300 gas. So not too bad. I also don't really want mutalisks anymore because he's got so many base. turrets in Antia. We should take and his gold base as well. Yes, let's take his gold. This is always such a fun move. 
try and mine this out. Now this middle base on the right side of the map, that's the other base that I've been missing. I've had him turtle up this whole time, barely surviving. Oh my god, my money's not that high though. Look at my minerals. I've been kind of wasteful with the muters, the lings, the banes. I'm gonna lose that middle right base. Cancel it, cancel it. We do cancel it at the last second. We're gonna hide that drone, try and burrow it behind the minerals. And it looks like it did get taken out just before it burrowed, unfortunately. So we've got units railing to the bottom right. Ling Bane Ultra Corruptor, which is a perfectly fine army. I like it for its mobility. I'm going to send a few Lings in that left side. I don't think he has a planetary there. Oh, he does. Never mind. Oh, no. He lost the whole mineral line. Oh, I should have borrowed those drones. Ultras at least will clean up the hell that. So it's not free for him. You know, this does cost him money as well. And I am the one with more mining potential. Bane Ling's clear. The sensor towers and turrets there. I didn't like him having vision there. And hopefully that opens up a hole now for the Mutalisks to fly in since the turrets are gone. Pick off these uh, last turrets and siege tanks. Uh, Ling Bane Ultra is rolling in the bottom side, but that is a big army. Get out of there, bro. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm rolling into this. Oh my god, terrible trade for me. And I don't have the money in the bank. I can't keep this up, dude. Okay, we're going to take out the tank. I mean, we could kill the Liberator, but we're losing so many units. There, There's being cost inefficient, and then there's, there's what I'm doing right now, which is beyond cost inefficiency. Trying to rebuild army. I'm not sure exactly what I'm building. But uh, I need to keep control of the forward bases or this game's going to get bad. And at this point, I am getting incredibly awful trades. He's getting forward on the map. Lings are getting in again. Okay, that could be big. If we can get the surround of those Hellions, they'll go down pretty quick. The Marines will go down as well. Ling's doing quite nice. And we're going to try and just pick off as many of these SCVs as we possibly can. Which is not a bad way to do it, dude. Bit a few shift clicks there, but the Libs and the Thor will clean it up. Now, we haven't managed to steal any minerals from his gold yet. I'm still I'm still thinking all about this game's going to go for a long time. I got to steal his minerals right now. I absolutely have to. My bank is gone. I don't know even know what my work account is right now. I imagine in-game I've checked it at some point by hovering over that top right. For those who don't know, if you hover over the supply, you can actually see exactly what's going on. And we've got to try and respread creep as well to get vision. Now, this is where the gold base is, is bad, guys. It's just so exposed. It's so dumb to just keep throwing drones into that until I've got the map on complete lockdown. It's a good base to take if your opponent's distracted in the corners and, and really has not, no focus for it. But it's it's the lowest priority. There's so many other things you got to do first. Ultra's getting in there, which is great. Oh, drones! Drones are going to get caught by the Hellions. I mean, my muters will eventually deal with it. Can the Ultras get in? If we can get in the mineral line, they can kill the SCVs. They're getting blocked, though. Okay, three Ultras on that planetary. If they kill it, that'd be great. Looks like my lings down here are, are doing okay. They will clean that up. Going to keep trying to retake that bottom base. Don't know what happened in the top. Oh, we got the planetary. We got it. We lost the three Thors, but killing a planetary, I think, is... Uh, we lost the three Ultras, sorry. But killing the planetary, I think, is worth it, or at least close to worth it. Muta Corrupt is going to come forward to try and deal with these libs. If we get rid of them, we might be able to steal some more minerals. And we're going to keep trying to take that bottom right. So i got to send some army over there to clear that base up. Um, what is it down here that keeps killing my guys? I'm like, what, keep, what keeps killing the drones on the bottom? Oh no, it looks like there's a lib harass or something. All right, we got rid of those, which means we're back to mining here temporarily. But I'm losing all my workers on the bottom middle base and I haven't noticed it. Oh no. Oh, the lib harass is ruining me. I don't want to attack into that choke point with all the army there. If there was no tanks, I might be down for it. Oh, it's a Hellion. It's just a Hellion. That's it. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying, isn't it? And it's easy to lose track of your units when you're managing all this, especially if you're putting these units in such vulnerable positions. So is actually kind of dumb. Just I'm just like, look, this is taking too much attention. Stuff. I don't have the so APM to pull those drones away. I need to be focusing on finding his weak points. And at this point, guys, I just I don't have any bank. I'm remaxing on inefficient units. I'm not really making inroads. He's got five bases up. This is so scary for me. Queens do take some shots, but that's okay. Transfusers keep them up. I've got good creep spread. I could use a little more towards the corners, especially the bottom right corner. And we're going to try to transfer workers over to that bottom right. I think my gold base is heavily oversaturated, which is where my main drone reservoir is right now. Oh, not a good fight, I don't think. I mean, because there's no, no orbital, I was thinking about it. But yeah, I don't think that's a good idea, man. Ah, just clicking banelings on depots and stuff. These are nasty trades. I, I got to rethink things, dude. Oh, I started going swarmos. Okay, I mean, that will that will definitely do things differently. Swarm hosts are the ultimate efficiency unit because everything they do is free. Problem, I've taken so many unit, unit, minutes to make this decision that we're like, cool, we can we can do the efficient units. We're doing it so late. We've made this decision so very late in this game of StarCraft. We're going to queue up Locust, though, to start assaulting his natural. Because if I can clear the natural, I can mine his gold base. If I steal minerals off his gold, that's minerals that I get to keep and he does not get to use. He never gets to mine them, you know? 
Corrupt us will deal with this. Oh, we got on top of some ghosts there. If we can kill them, that'd be great. Banelings, Banelings, Banelings. Oh, we only got like one ghost. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I need more Link Bane in this bottom side. We did get rid of the battle cruiser, or at least forced it to teleport away. We just killed the tanks and a ton of turrets there, which means we can go back to mining on the gold. We're going to try and throw locusts in the natural again, since the waves are coming in disjointed because the swarm hosts all popped out at different times. So more locusts go into the natural in the bottom right side of the map. Terran is going to take that base, though, and that is an unmitigated disaster. Look at the spready on the Zerglings. These guys... Should be able to kill that tank, unless the planetary's in range. But I think the Lings move just out of planetary range, so they should get that kill. We're going to try and clear these rocks, because I'm like, dude, why am I why am I still having to run around the map? Why aren't I immediately rallying to this side? And I'm realizing I've definitely done a bit of a doo-doo in that regard. Looks like I've got 3-3 air now. 3-3 ground, not to mention some range upgrades as well. Actually, you know what? Because I wasn't building any range units, I don't think I have any range upgrades. I think my locusts are actually a 0-3. And their attack upgrades are so important, man. He's going to keep denying that base nicely. Let's see if I can take out this one. Good, good Ling Run buys. I do like the Ling Run buys, guys. Ah, oh, but he does raise the wall. We're just going to go after some add-ons. Oh, can we kill it? Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, but building armor and no plus three, man. I think I've only got plus zero or plus one. I don't, I don't know if I realize in the heat of the moment either. Damn, dude, this game is tense. I remember this game feeling tense when I played it. And it's clearly a very imperfect game. That and yet but I want that 10th win in a row so friggin' badly. Uh, and yet I've made so many mistakes because of the pressure, the map. And not only that, guys, we're at 22 minutes. I said I needed to leave after half an hour to go to an event. It's looking like it's going to be hard to finish this game in the next eight minutes. It's looking like it's going to be tough. And that is somewhere in the back of my mind going, oh god, why did I queue just one more game when I have to I have to leave the house soon, dude? I gotta leave the house. Alright. Locust wave. We want them to land all at once and kill that planetary. But I realize, hey, it's not gonna happen. It's too much defense. Let's just kill the repairing SCVs. Ooh, this is not a bad attack. I'm uh, running away from those Thors though. Not too sure about that. I will blow up that planetary, which is nice. It's gonna kill a lot of workers as well. Bainling's cleaning up some hellbats. Did we not kill the planetary? I don't think we did. Oh! Those ultras just... The ultra just got jumped, ju jumped on top of the ghosts, but I think they cloaked and I didn't have detection. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Planetary somehow survives there. It's not like the base is that important for mining. It's just having the anchor, the defensive positioning of it, does help him in the future, which is what I'm kind of annoyed at. So 16 swarmers throwing big locust waves, guys. We're going to try and just land these wherever we can. Get a few on the turrets... Get a few in the workers. Uh, probably just go for the factories at this point. Yeah. Just just kill whatever we can. Go for that depot. Just, just any damage we can get. Because that's free damage, remember. It's all about getting that free damage. I've got a few infestors in the mix now as well. Oh, Lib's coming in. Being D-bags. Spores are going to move down to the edge. And we are going to try and queue these drones back to mining as the Muta Corruptor does come down to clean those up. Still got massive creep spread. Opponent really hasn't made any attempt to move onto the map with a push this entire game. It's purely been turtling to the late game, knowing that Terran does have some good advantages at that stage. If you let them get there in a good enough setup, and my god if I let him get there. This dude has like 14 command centers, and that is not good for you as the Zerg player. Alright, so he's re he's got the lib sieging the gold. I gotta see I gotta keep taking advantage of that. Oh, notice I move command the locusts so they don't auto drop. We want to make sure they try to get on top of the siege tanks if possible. But look at that great pullback. I just killed one turret. That was a... Don't do any damage. Oh, I don't have any upgrades for them. That explains things. Okay. 24 minutes. I was like, these guys don't do any damage. Locusts are one of the highest DPS units in the game. And only then do I start plus one range 24 minutes into the game. Oh my gosh, what a disaster, mate. Now we're going to run ultras in front to tank damage. We should be able to clear this base out. I'm just going to blow it up with planetary so there's less time for the ghost to get back here, guys. And then we're going to run away, I would imagine. Oh, did I just burrow Infester into his base? I think I did. And I think I queued those units to run away. Indeed, I did. Looks like he scanned and got the burrowed Infester. That's a bummer. But it is what it is. Down on that south side, he's continuing to be a nuisance. We do have some burrowed Infesters on the front looking for some angles. Hellions are going to get taken out by Ling Bane. Not bad. Down the bottom, looks like the spines will eventually clean things up. I'm happy to just replace those drones. I don't care too much about losing a few drones as long as these things are getting defended eventually. Planetary on the front maybe goes down. Watching the minimap, watching the minimap. Oh my god, it survived. 
Dude, these plus zero locusts suck. <laughs> and I've only got 14 swarmers now. I've lost two of them. I've put myself in a rough position. There are so many moments here where I could have killed planetaries and I just barely missed out. And I'm not removing enough of his map control with that. Now we've sent some things in for a backstab in the north. And you can see, I'm like, okay, we're doing some damage. We do at least get a cancel. We're going to borrow the banelings there for future, but he will scan them and take them out. The value he's getting, the efficiency is wild. And the fact that he's mining that bottom right base is a huge problem for me. Now, don't get me wrong. The gold base does still exist there. Maybe I can keep bullying him off it and try to steal minerals, but I seem to have forgotten about it now. And that hurts. I am in Omega focus mode. If I can, I'm like, maybe I can jump on this bottom right, but I don't know if I've forced enough of his units to the top and the natural with the other attacks. Like I haven't attacked down here in a while, but I've been attacking so much in, in those other sides. I'm hoping he's out of position enough for me to just kill this base. Ooh, sniping all my muters and corruptors. That's not good. We're going to throw locusts in from this angle again. Throw a few at the hellbats, the rest into the natural. This army rolls in. I wasn't even watching it, but you know what? It's just a few tanks and libs. So I actually think this is not a bad trade. As we do get the planetary, we're going to kill a lot of infrastructure as well. So we are going to kill a few more missile turrets here. Unfortunately, we didn't have the corruptors. If we could have just, with a few more lings, come in afterwards, killed all of the turrets, and then flew in with corruptors to kill the libs, that's where things get really juicy. But for now, we're pulling back. We're trying to make more ling bane, because he's looking like he wants to chase me now, and that's incredibly scary. All right, we're going to get plus two range. Plus two range just starts. 26 and a half minutes. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I, I love how I'm, I'm having so much fun casting this game. You look at me in-game playing it, and I am like, I will not lose to this. I will not lose. Like, my ego is so deeply on the line right now. That that mythical 10 win streak, I want it so bad. <laughs> We're going to go for this planetary again. I'm like, come on. Can we please just land on this planetary all at once and kill it? I didn't, I didn't time it all at once, so the planetary is going to do good damage. Oh, look at that, though. We are getting rid of a few Corruptors. Oh, no! There was mass ghosts there! And I didn't have detection! Oh, the Palings! Please! Please! Okay, we get a few ghosts, but, dude, we just lost a bunch of Corruptors. At least the Locust Wave did damage. If I rotate the I Locust to the bottom... The and Banelings were so far behind. That's a bummer. I didn't realize the Overseers and Banelings were so far behind. I said, that's why I, that's why I was looking at that fight thinking, ha ha! And then I was like, wait, where are the Overseers? I do have Overlord speed, but they just happen to be in a different part of the map, I guess. Uh, Swarm host getting ready to bust more planetaries. Oh, I gotta be careful not to get them caught out, man. Okay, so he's attacking in the bottom, which I did not expect. And I am gonna go for a counterattack. And he sees my army coming, so he's running away. That's good, I kept that base alive. Oh, dude, a fungal would be nice, but it's not really gonna kill anything. So I don't wanna give away that it's there just yet. We got Swarm host going in with the rest of the army. Oh, nice angle on those ghosts. Dude, we just got a lot of the ghosts. A bunch of ghosts just got caught. Finally, with the positioning and the multi-prong, I get some damage, but oh my god, I've only got nine Swarmos left. Jeez. Okay, I rebuild Swarmos back to 16. I could neural a single Thor. At this point, I think I'm considering it. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to just neural a single Thor and hope he doesn't notice. Oh, the lib count is crazy. I need to keep my Corruptor count up. I need to keep that Corruptor count up 100%. Uh, looks like the neural probably got broken down there. I'm not sure how much damage that actually did. Not really able to watch everything at once. There's too much to manage in these games, you know? Okay, we're going to try and throw a fungal, but I didn't have vision. Oh, I need to get rid of those Vikings, man. If I can get rid of those Vikings, that'll be massive. Swarmos catch two of those Thors, which is great. And we're going to try to roll in on it. Dude, if the Corruptors can kill the Metabacks. I don't have many Lings, though. The Locusts can surround. I pull the Banelings back after clearing the Hellbats. Oh, kill, kill the Metabacks! If we kill the Metabacks with the Thors inside, that'd be huge. We're not able to... Without any Zerglings to deal with those Thors on the ground, we don't want to fight with just one Ultra and a, a couple of Banes. So I'm pulling back right now. We're trying to trying to find the angle to catch these expensive units. He's got the Libs there again. Okay, we're going to just kill these Vikings, man. Any time you can trade, but what about Ghosts? There could be Ghosts nearby. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Good pullback timing. If I stayed any longer, that would have been bad. We're going to get this Lib on the high ground and go back to trying to steal the Minerals. So I just built a round of drones for that gold base. Rallied them there. Hopefully that gets me some damage. I could do some Wee Wee's. Now, Wee Wee's is always a good move if the ghosts are in the bottom right side of the map. But if the ghosts are nearby and they can snipe me, that's where I get in huge trouble here. It takes five seconds for the Wee Wee to actually vamp up and do more damage. Fungal. Dude, if I had Parasitic Bomb. I, I need Parasitic Bomb now. Did I not Did kill I? It? I didn't kill it. I pulled back before killing it. Oh it's my god. Like <laughs> I guess it's okay. I'm so tilted right now. I am so tilted right now, both in game, live, and watching it now afterwards. I'm so tilted. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> oh, this hurts. It hurts, man. It's so fun as well, though, isn't it? Realizing just how many mistakes you make in a game of StarCraft. A lot of people don't like that. They, they like to think they played a perfect game. But every video game is like this. We're always playing suboptimally. But in StarCraft, it's just a little bit more apparent when you look back all the things you could have done better. Because, you know, attention is a resource. You have limited information all game. Oh, I have a Viper out. That's nice. It almost died, though. Almost instantly. So we're going to grab some energy. Uh, I've got two more Vipers I just added. So you can see, guys, main army with Infestors on one, Corruptors on two, uh, Queens on four for respreading creep, Vipers on five, Swarm Hosts on seven. Now, those don't correspond to those actual numbers because I use the core. But uh, yeah, it gives you an idea of kind of what I'm focusing on. Oh, no! He just focused an Infestor down after killing the Ultra with that Planetary. That was a clutch move by him. I'm actually really impressed. He's coming down with Ghosts. I got to get out of here. I want that planetary though. I get it, I get it, run away. Okay, so I run away. I'm throwing locusts in on his rally point again, slash on that 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 fourth base. How much money do I have? 4,000 minerals, 8,000 gas. I need more minerals. Oh, he's not looking. Always we get one, watching. two, only two ghosts. Not bad. I do start plus three here at 31 minutes, guys. <laughs> We're getting all the tech eventually. My swarmosts are in a very dangerous position on the map and I haven't been paying attention. I'm gonna try and get these libs, hoping he doesn't have any ground army nearby by moving spores forward. I'm so worried about those swarmos right now. But I'm just leaving them there, which is a big mistake. Now, we did maybe kill one lib for a couple spores. Not the worst trade. But i got to be careful with those minerals. Oh, I'm running up there. Dangerous, dangerous. Oh, main army, main army's getting aggroed in. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Don't go into and the ghosts. So losing an ultra for it. That was a mistake. I need more Ling Bane to make sure if those ghosts come forward, I can jump on them. Otherwise, he can move out. The moment I don't have Ling Bane, he can jump out on me. So we're going to go for that, that corner base one more time, guys, with those Locusts. They're now two, three Locusts, so they are a little bit better. I'm trying to retake this bottom right side, which he didn't get a chance to finish mining, which is big. But he's now on top of the gold base, and that's what worries me. Hey, I'm denying minerals here, though. That's actually nice. I am denying a little bit of minerals and gas. This adds up. This does add up. But him having the gold base is obviously the bigger priority, and I think he's, he's making the right decision. I'm going to send Lings in for a counterattack. I should have grouped those up first. There we go. Notice how I, I grabbed the links. I mean, even... Actually, I'm just going to group them with my army, it looks like. So we got the whole bottom right. He gets the whole gold base. Bottom right has less minerals on it than, than the gold at this point, I would argue. Really. That's the whole oh, we've got to be careful with those Swarmos. He's got the Watchtower. So you'll see, he'll see those coming a mile away. We should pull those Swarmos way back because I don't have detection in that area. He could venture forth and snipe my Swarmos and I wouldn't notice it happening. Pretty sure he does that at some point in this game. I'm so paranoid about it, though, because watching in hindsight, I'm like, dude, we're playing so greedy, just assuming he's going to be defensive. Now, clearing these planetaries is a good idea. I don't really want to sacrifice my Banelings on it, but if we can just clear this whole control, this gives us so much more control of the map, which means we can easily get our army up into his main and natural and our swarm hosts, and that's going to be huge. Notice I'm spreading changelings everywhere for vision. But this is huge. Clearing this right side out protects my bo my bottom right expansion. We're going to throw Locusts in the middle. I, if his army's moved, we Take could maybe look. do damage. We're going to try to go forward. And even if we just get a Thor or two, it could be big. But we don't want to land on Hellbats, but we kind of have to land. And he picks up and saves it. We get, get a Hellbat. We got a Hellbat. Wow. 100 minerals of value. And it didn't cost me anything because they're free units. So technically, very good value move, right? Technically, I just need to do that a few more hundred times so we can win this game. Totally. We, we, we can get the 10 wins. And you've got to wonder what the cost inefficiency difference is like, especially with them mining that whole top left base out before I got to the minerals. It's like 10,000 at least, I would guess. I would guess probably more than 10,000 in this game, maybe 15,000 advantage to him, which is very worrying. The one thing which might work in my favor is swarm hosts. Might make that gap smaller than expected. Because even though my army versus army trades have sucked, the Swarmos, every time they go forward, it, it is free damage. And they've killed a lot of buildings. A few units as well. Oh, nice abduct. I, I pulled the medevac, but he did get a viper. A little bit sloppy there. Oh, God. I should have just abducted those Thors, man. If I abducted those Thors, it would have been much better. He's walled off that side. I actually think this is really good for me. Because that means he's, he's not willing to venture out, which means my Swarmos can run up that side, throw Locus in his production... And we can cool. even try to mine these minerals out. I don't know if it's worth taking a hatchery, but long-distance mining that um, is very smart. I'm saying um, because I'm realizing, around. like, I, I have plus three. Do I have all my upgrades? I'm kind of going around and checking. There's not anything important I'm forgetting right now. Got to be careful. These Hellions, mate. Hellions, very good versus Zerglings. He's using them to deny the creep. We run forward. We run away. Careful of the snipes. Careful. Okay. Yeah. 
I mean, killing factories, killing orbitals, killing any Hellions we get. We get one Hellion kill. Almost got a second one. Set some buildings on fire. He's not watching. So we can kill those. Oh, you don't really want to spend Banelings to kill Hellions. Could he just use the Ultras? Not the optimal micro, but at least I'm, I'm removing map control. We're stealing minerals from the top right. You can see this base is almost out in the bottom. I'm accepting that he's, he gets the gold now. I didn't get to steal many minerals. Oh my god, what's happened over here? What is this? He ventured so far forward and just sniped a bunch of my units. Super greedy move. And I don't have any overseers, so I get punished super hard. Massive, massive move for him. That was a dirty good move. He's now getting very adventurous with his ghosts, realizing if he can run forward, I haven't been the best at monitoring my detection. I need more infestors as well, which I don't think I have. Yeah, I think, honestly, just going for the Hellions is fine here. Yeah, we're killing Hellions. Oh, that's a lot. I just killed like 10 Hellions because I dropped around them. So their splash damage didn't hit and all of them. And we focused time. the orbital. That's free Slow value. Just got it. The swarm host is still sitting out exposed right now. Saying, hey, my main army is remaxed. I will steal. I will wear you down. No! No! Oh, the punish comes in. I'm going to try and catch him on the way back. But no, he's, he's too quick. He's back to the libs and thaws. I can't, I can't chase into that. Dude, so I'm spreading infestors out. So next time he does that, maybe I can trap him. Oh god, what's happened? Lag! Lag! Is this my computer or is this the recording? I do not know. Oh my god, my computer's just crashed, has it? No? Whoa! Okay, guys, sorry. We just had a big glitch there on my computer. It just froze for half a second. Looks like we are back. So hopefully, I don't know what that looks like for you guys on the, on the end who are watching. Maybe it was seamless. Uh, I doubt it was. Catches my borrowed infest a good move for a few cheap Hellions and runs away. And he's being a nuisance now. He's trying to bait me into his ghosts with this. And I'm pretty sure it looks like I'm taking the bait, doesn't it? That ultra chasing into the lib on the ramp, not a smart move. I've, I've gone back up to 17 Swarmos because I really feel that they're the unit that will give me efficiency over time. That ultra does get back. I'd love to use my queens to transfuse it, but I haven't really been thinking about transfuse in this game. Alright, he, he realizes I'm stealing those minerals and he's like, hey... I'm like, dude, these are mine. These are my minerals. It's not a lot, but I will take them because that forces you to come to me. And that's what the Swarmos do. They force your opponent to come to you. If they sit back forever, it's not going to go well. We're trying to drop some Parasitic Bombs on the Vikings. Any value we can get for free is going to be huge. So I literally queued two Parasitic Bombs and then queued my Vipers to run away. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Locusts coming in from every side. We're killing Hellbats, SCVs, everything there. Great moves. I think my Vipers, because I lost Vision... They stopped doing it, so I'm going to have to manually go in and do this. It's a very risky move. We're going to move Changelings in. And okay. As long as we don't lose them, it's good. Okay, we're going to quickly transfuse those Vipers. And who knows, maybe I got an air unit killed. Even if I just damage them, it costs him money to repair. 25% of a unit's cost to repair it back to full life from one hit point. Not a lot, but every little bit matters in a game like this. You might be thinking, you got 14,000 resources. Why are you worrying about every little bit? Because if you don't, you can spend that money very quickly. We are playing an efficiency game. We aren't playing a, oh, I want to win right now game. And notice I'm, I'm paranoid about ghosts coming out. Because he keeps doing that, so I'm looking for it. i got to pull away there. Pull away in the north. Don't lose those corruptors. And we, we're, we're clearing the area so that my swarmos can throw their locusts from a bit further Fuck, forward. to go, man. I'm going to be late. Oh, no! I just said, oh, 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 no, i got to go. It's 38 minutes game. into the game. Guys, I know I'm already running late to my event at this point. And I'm like, oh god, do I just have to leave? Do I just have to leave this game? I'm going to be late to my, my Magic the Gathering event. <laughs> I'm going to be late, bro. I want to see those new Fallout cards. That just adds an extra layer of pressure. I want the 10 wins. I have to leave. I'm 39 minutes in. I can't give up, guys. There's a, there's a competitive side of me that when I'm this deep into a game, just cannot give in. I was going to jump on that army. I see 15 Lib Siege, and I've immediately changed my mind. And he's mined out the minerals, and he's decided gas isn't important. Let's leave this base. Fair enough. Oh, if I could fungal, fungal parasitic bomb those Libs, that would be so big. Oh, I'm thinking about Neuralink. Oh, fungal. I don't have my Vipers nearby, unfortunately. Oh, this is good, though. If I can, if I can kill them with fungal, because he kind of has to respect the... Uh... Oh, there we go. The parasitic bomb finally gets there. Oh, and then I lose all my spellcasters because the ghosts were cloaked and I didn't have an overseer. No! Oh my god, pig. Why are you so bad at StarCraft? We hung around way too long there, guys. That was such a predictable move, the ghost coming forward. Oh, we only get one ghost as well. 
Gee. Oh, gee, Willikers. Oh, man. Oh, gee, Rick. I don't know, man. Okay, guys, so I've got I've still got 14,000 in the bank. I'm mining the last minerals out, really. There's like a few in that, that top right side. Other than that... Oh, there's actually a bunch in my pocket fourth. My pocket fourth base actually has minerals in it, guys. I'm sending a few links and just seeing if I can find some value here. Some He's still got minerals in his natural as well, actually, because I've ling run by it so many times. This happens in these games, guys, where you sometimes... You've got to take a second to look back at those, those older bases that I transferred workers off, because I was going, look, let's mine out the more dangerous bases... And then in the end game, if we get there, I can go back and mine those bases out. Now, you just got to remember to actually go back and do it. Otherwise, obviously, things don't work out so well. Swarmo's continuing to siege the natural, making it very hard for him. There's nothing but a bit of gas there. We don't really care about that base. Unfortunately, units rallying from the bottom right, rally, ra rallying past his Thors, which is not good. I have units hidden in his main, which is awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Spells could be good. Spells, spells. Or just to surround, that'll do. Uh, we don't want to chase too far, do we? Oh, God. All right, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. This is a big gamble, guys. I don't have enough things. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Bad move, bad move, bad move. Bad move. And where are my vipers? Did he, he snipe me vipers and me infestors again? All right, I'm going to try and clear out the left side. Just so that I can actually... Like I said, put him in a corner. The less buildings he has, the less room he can venture out. The easier it is for me to spread creep. Guys, and then I can kind of see what's happening. I'm gonna. I kind of need to go. I, there's no way he has as much bank as me, so I'm gonna have to just throw the game. Basically, it's 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 basically I need to just jump on his army and hope it works. Oh Otherwise, no! Gonna, I got an event in half an hour. It's gonna take me over half an hour to get there. So I've got an event in half an hour. It's gonna Not take me over half an hour to get win, there. But. You know, it's at this point, guys, my buddy was about to call me and, and, and head over to the venue to meet me there. And then he, he opened my stream to check and he saw I was still in game. And he's like, oh, <laughs> think about a billion banelings. You're not going to be there to meet me when you're meant to be there. I was very lucky because I remember I was literally about to like pull my army back to the corner and give him a call. Luckily, he checked that. So he wasn't just waiting for me for ages. Oh, really? But dude, I, I, this, I just can't give up. Like, I want to shove in and win. But I've got 15 swarm hosts wasting supply. That's not good army supply. So shoving on top of him is, is never a good idea. But especially when so much supply is, is wasted. Eh, we are killing workers. I mean, these locust waves are still getting value. Any value we get is a thing. Let me try and deny this base now. Notice I, I, I've got banelings and infestors there. So if he comes down, we might be able to run in from this side. Trying to run one infestor forward. Let's go. Go, go, go. I'm trying to get him on the ramp. Trying to get him on the ramp. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, he's coming from the left? Oh, that I didn't expect. Oh, he sniped some stuff over on the left side. I thought he'd come down the ramp on the right. This, is, this ghost keep... I just can't run up there. I can't go up there. Okay, I'm going to throw Locus into his main at least. That's something. But my mineral bank is dropping. Dude, I'm down to 4k minerals. On this Remax, I'm down to 4k minerals. Get those Swarmos out, dude. Get them out. His ghosts were pretty far on the left. No! No, he's getting my Swarmos! Oh my god, I had 17 Swarmos, now I have 4. He just killed 13. I just gave him so much value. I'm, I'm trying to force it because I know I've got to go to my event. I'm trying to force it, and now I see this game slipping away. Oh, yeah, I mean, I could no. win if I just sit back, but... I could win if I just... piece of shit, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so start. salty! I could win no, if I'm I just so sit back. I'm going to be late to my event. He's playing a piece, like, a piece of shit? Is. He's just sitting there? I'm gonna okay, I just, I, just made, I just made the decision, though. You heard me say... I, I, I'm just going to be late to my event. I'm too competitive. Gonna I'm going to win this game. It. Screw this. I'm rebuilding These Swarmos. One. These guys number two. We're splitting our army into one and two so that I can, if his ghosts are getting, thinking my army's in one place, I can sandwich him from the other side. Coming out with a raven to clear creep now for efficiency. We're just going to jump in from two sides on these guys. Try and catch him. He pulls back real quick though. Oh, can I at least get the raven? No, run away, run away, run away. Oh my god, he just sniped a bunch of Corruptors. Oh my Dude, god, Snipe so seems so weak when I use it. But when I really want to win and I'm screwing that up, it really feels like ghosts are overpowered, doesn't it? But every time I use them as Darren, they never do anything! Might be a skill issue on both sides of the equation, to be fair. <laughs> they both feel stronger than they are because I suck against them, and they, they also feel worse than they are when I'm using them because I, I suck at using them. Uh, it turns out most things in StarCraft that kind of come off as balance complaints usually are skill issues, let's be real. The focus is deep. And the problem is, like, I know he's got bank, I just don't know how much. 
how much damage are these locusts really doing? There's so much unknown in a game like this. He could be sitting on, on like 8k, 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 something like that. In which case, all he needs to do is slowly wear me down with like ghost snipes, picking off units, and, and, and that sort of stuff. Like, I need to finish him off with only 2,500 minerals left. No left. I, I did mine the minerals in the back base now. They're gone almost completely. So you can see there's like a trickle of minerals coming in. And that is about it. Infest is going to try to burrow forwards. He does scan my army. We're going to try and pull it away and bring the other army in from the north. So maybe I can sandwich him. If he, if he comes too far out, we might be able to sanger him. He's long distance mining the last mineral patch. If he chases these guys, he might jump on him. He's, he's got a lot of scans. That's the problem. He's got the map hack. The map hack's coming in, man. So I've got these guys on the left, hoping he comes down to try and snipe the guys on the right. And then we can catch him so he can't get home from the left side. I'm gonna keep Locust waving to pick off these bases. Slowly, at this point, I, I have to slow the pace down. Or my efficiency's gonna suck. Two Hellions in the open, might not sound like a lot. It's big, guys. Trying to kill a ghost, not gonna get one, that's fine. Two Hellions of value, still value. Still just looking around patiently, look for the moment. Oh god, those swarm hosts don't have an overseer near them. He could run ghosts out on that left side. I have nothing, nothing watching for it. No, he's doing it again! Oh my god, I just lost all my swarm hosts again. That, that could be GG. I have no minerals, remember guys. I have no minerals. Oh my god. Okay, can we kill some? We got two ghosts. At least we got two ghosts for it. But like, come on, man. Dude, I'm down to six swarm hosts. I'm spending my last minerals on swarm hosts. I'm back to 17, but now I'm down to 1,500 minerals. It's also minerals. impossible to see cloaked units on creep, so maybe I should turn my graphics down. This game's kind of convincing me to do that. I don't know about turning graphics down. Just put a freaking spore crawler over there, man. It's not that hard. I have detection to see when he runs out of his base with a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> you know, if the ghosts have to stop to kill a spore crawler, that it's, it's done its job. It saved him you from getting sniped 20 times. I've got spores around my bases as well. I could just bring them from home. They don't cost extra money at this stage of the game. Oh, oh, if we can, if we can Sanger, this would be good. This would be good. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go, jump it on top. All right, if we can kill that Raven, that'd be big. I mean, we're going to kill the Hellions. Oh, we got the Raven as well. Pull back, pull back. All right, so we pull back the moment we kill the Hellions of the Raven. That is a lot of value. You know, 150 gas, five, 600 minerals from the Hellions. This sort of stuff matters, guys. This really does matter. Trying to split the changings up a little bit so they're not as easy for him to deal with. But uh, definitely, as the swarm hosts come forward, you can see we're throwing a big locust wave. I want to kill that planetary. If I get rid of that, less map control. I can spread creep up this ramp. I can move a spore crawler up here, potentially. And that planetary is going to go down. Remember, these are 3-3. Three, three, and that planetary disappears in about four seconds. The 3-3 three, three locust makes such a big difference, especially when they have building armor. Is he going to his main? Oh, I actually look triggered at this point. Realizing he's pulling into his main and just trying to slow, slow the game down. And I'm like, dude, you can't draw. Like, I have swarm hosts. And that's a bit BM saying that. I almost said just wasting time and I only... Guys, I am so stressed I get, I right now. I kept losing units, which I'm is being why a bit he's of a still dick. in the game. Because he's like, oh, pig might keep fucking up. But it's like, come on, man. I'm, I'm so Are angry. going to sit up there? Because I think it's this golden. So, so I think he's my friend. It's not actually golden. And I think I think he's he's basically wasting time right now. And to be fair, he kind of is at this point, but he's killed so many units with snipes over the last five minutes that, that I've gifted him. He's got a good reason to think he could win this game. It's my fault. I've been throwing my stuff away, haven't I? All right. Locust coming in. They're going to keep just picking off anything they can, guys. Buildings, units, whatever. Oh, you know what? He just pulled his units back to tr not lose them to the Locust. If he does that again on the next time, I might be able to run forward. And if I can run forward and then get parasitic bombs on those libs that'll be massive now i'm gonna bring my drones forward i think oh my god pig okay guys sometimes ego gets the better of us i really did not need to drop that but i'm, I'm just so stressed over wanting the 10 wins thinking he's my friend and he's wasting time when he doesn't think he can win combined with knowing i need to be at this event and i'm like i i think a lot of you will probably be like oh it's not that bad bad mannered for me though i i i don't like it when people are dickheads in competitive video games i usually try to be better than that I apologize, fake golden Terran player guy. I apologize in post-game here. Okay, we're going after the, the, the units in the back. Every bit of value matters. Every every building I kill limits limits what he can do. Every building limits his vision, which is so important. Now, I should have an Overseer or a Spore further forward there as well. Because i got to see when he comes down that ramp. Minimap vision does not work on invisible units. I don't know if you guys know that or not. 
I'm, I'm like I'm glancing at it, but I don't have the best vision there. If those ghosts come down that ramp, I need to be ready to fungal them. I'm staying far back, so it's, he has to come down the ramp where fungal can work. But yeah, it's like the uh, swarmers are going to come up the right side. I'm trying to throw the locusts from slightly different angles when I can, and I'm just spamming changelings in because vision is everything. So we're going to send those locusts forward. I'm not really microing this wave. I'm going to send them to the left. Because I figure, look, if I can just kill, kill these, these buildings, that actually matters. Because then if the Liberators pull back, he loses vision. I'm throwing the drones away because I just don't need them. Go, 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 Parasitic Bomb. Go, go, go. Oh, man, we're coming in a bit late. We're throwing them on the clumped units, though, which is pretty nice. Oh, that's pretty good, man. You can see he's quickly unseaging those libs to try to move them. Because they have to unseage before they move, that does a lot of damage. Oh, now we're going to throw a Locust Wave from the left. We've got him cornered. Oh my god, a second round of question marks! To be fair, at this point, I don't think I'm going to be too hard on myself. He clearly is kind of just trying to draw the game. And I don't think it's possible. He might think it's possible, though. It's it's a little bit spicy, though. Let's be honest to drop the question marks there. I think my man's getting a bit too egotistical after having a good streak on the lads. The lads? Are we calling the lad of the lads now? Oh god, what am I? What am I, uh, a goddamn zoomer? Actually, are the youngest kids these days still called Zoomers? Or is there like a new generation beyond Zoomers? There is, right? Is there a new one now? Anyways, let us know in the comments. This is this is such a stressful situation. Because remember, guys, one good round of snipes. All this effort ain't worth jack diddlies. Oh, I saw him coming down. I think I saw him coming down. So I'm trying to jump on him. That's why I'm spreading back. I'm like looking at this. It's even it's hard to see in this. Remember, this was on stream. I wasn't recording in 4K or anything. So it's a little hard to see the, uh, the cloak ghosts on creep, but... I imagine I, I saw some shimmery boys come down that ramp, which is why you saw me do that whole dance just then. All right. Moving spores forward now. Remember what I talked about earlier? I should have done this way earlier. Locusts are going in. We're going to try and take advantage. Oh, we got parasitic bombs. A couple volleys. We did take a snipe, though. We took a snipe, but that kills two, three libs, maybe four libs with the parasitic bomb. Locusts in the back, killing buildings. He's getting worn down right now. I am so mad that he's not leaving the game or coming down to fight. I'm like, you gotta do one of them. Ghost tries to poke down the ramp. We got spores there, which means he can't really surprise us anymore. The Burrowed Zerg on the high ground giving vision. The creep is making its way towards the main base right now. We're gonna throw another Locust Wave into that corner. Every time we do that, it opens up territory, right? If his ghosts pull back, it allows us to push forward and kill his libs, but he might be waiting for us this time. So I have to be careful. I have to send some locusts down to make sure there's no units near the ramp before I go in with my air. Do you see here? I'm like, okay, I don't think he's there. I think we can risk it. Parasitic. Oh, abduct. Okay, so just an abduct. And we get out. Two liberators. Pull back. And we got it! We got it! I'm so angry! I'm, like, I'm so on, late man. to my event. Is he streaming? If that's real golden, that's crazy. Get out, man. Wasted so much time. I kind of understood for like a, a while, but the last fight, once he pulled back to the main, I was like, now I'm legitimately just like, get out of my game. Get out of here. 10 win streak, guys. We did it. We got the 10 win streak. I couldn't give up the 10 win streak. All right. Well, at the end of the day, we managed to get the win. Um, that was an ordeal. That was such a silly game of StarCraft. So many mistakes on both sides. The opponent never really tried to attack, but had a very clever corner base, had pretty good turtling defense and really good ghost usage, which to be fair, I gifted a lot of kills. At the end of the day though, we saw the efficiency of the Swarmos. I was only behind 5,000 resources at the end of that game. Those Swarmos, the longer they work, they just stack up so much efficiency, even when you let their whole pack get sniped three times over. And that's why I love the Swarmos, because if your opponent's just sitting there, the Swarmos is so good for wearing them down. Either way, this felt like such a sort of cathartic release. It was so much stress and I was putting too much pressure on myself for 10 games, but I got the 10th game in a row in the most stressful fashion. I ran outside and hopped in an Uber to go to my event and, and made it there not too late, thankfully. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a bit different, just sharing a fun ladder experience I had where I got myself back on track mentally in yesterday's video and then had this culmination of it, which was such a silly game of StarCraft. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, probably not going to do get as many views as my normal videos, but if you guys do want to see more, let me know in the comment section and I'll consider sharing more of my fun ladder experiences. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.